Hello, Blend Enthusiasts. Today, we'll talk about animating objects visibility and also managing the keys in the timeline while we're animating objects visibility. First thing I'm going to animate is how my objects appear in my viewport. So I'm going to start with an icosphere and I really need to do it for one object. And if I do it correctly, then I can copy the animations over and then offset those animations for my other two objects. In the object properties, under viewport display, there are some really interesting options. One of them is this color, which I can use to control what my objects appear like in my solid display mode, which is very convenient because it helps me visually break things up. And then the other one is called display as, and you can change what you're seeing to different types of things. And I'm interested in wire. Wire can be turned on and off with an overlay display. Wire signify that my object is invisible. And whenever my object become textured, that will mean that my object is visible. Wire is invisible and textured is visible. The display as function is keyable. So I'm going to turn on wire, add a key, and then at frame five, I'm going to change to solid and give it another key. At frame nine, I'm going to change back to wire and then give it one more key. Now I will animate show in render. For my frame one, I will turn my render off and key it. And then for my frame five, I will turn my render on and key it. And then for the last frame, I'm going to turn it off and key it. My render visibility and my viewport visibility are correlating. I want to copy this animation to my other two objects. So for that, I'm going to select the cube in the cylinder. I'm going to shift select the icosphere and I'm going to press control L and choose link animation data. If I play my animation now, you will see that the objects now inherited the animation and animated in exactly the same way as my icosphere. I also want to offset the animation of the box and the cylinder. I need to unlink those animations because currently if I change animation of one object, then animations of the other objects will change because those animations are linked to each other. To break that relationship, I'm going to go to object relations and then make an object a single user. And now here I'm going to choose object animation, select the objects, which animation I want to offset, slide this guy over, boom. All right. Awesome. Now I'm going to deal with a cylinder. I want 10 to be at 14. Now let's see. Icosphere appeared, cube appeared, and then cylinder appeared. This is working great. The lastly, I want all of my objects to be in exactly the same spot. Select all of my objects, press Alt G. My view is locked to camera, which means that I can use my navigation controls, such as delete on my numpad to center it and also zoom and pan to change what my camera is doing. And now I'm going to turn off my overlay and play the animation. Let's see what we have. And this is how you animate visibility of an object in Blender, one of the ways. I hope you learn something new and interesting today. We're Digital Monkey School. Please like us and subscribe to our channel. You can also support us by signing up for our Zoom classes. And I will talk to you in my next tutorial.